I don't want it to fade. So I don't want to overuse the words because someday, maybe, we'll want to have kids. I mean, I want to, and I think you do too. We're dating. We're dating. But you can just tell me that we might be one of those couples, major, not minor. And don't you think, don't you think that we're gonna, we might, I think we might watch our kids get married. We might make chicken soup for each other in the rain. Don't you think we're major and not minor? When you smell coffee brewing in the morning, you'll think of me because I'll be the one bringing the coffee. And when you close your eyes at night, you'll think of me because I'll be the tiptoes that you don't hear tiptoeing to bed. And I'll be the one whose lips bring you kisses and the smell of oranges in January. I don't want it to fade. I'd give you more than a life if I could. And I'm not supposed to say that because of how long, how long we've been dating. It's not that long, even though I just, I just know. You might say you're young, we're both young, and you don't know what's a lifetime, but I'd give you days and nights, the sun, moon, and the clouds if I could on a string so you could fly them like a kite. Or they'd fly you. That's what's in those words you say I was, that I was afraid to say. That's what I wanted to say. Take me. You wanna go hang gliding or, or skydiving or parasailing, wherever, please take me to all those places you want to go. So the fact that you don't get punctuation, that's what I was trying to get at. The fact that you don't have punctuation makes that first sentence difficult because it looks like it's two sentences. The first sentence of, I don't want it to fade, so I don't want to overuse the words. Yeah, like yeah. that's all one thought, right? So it's uh -huh. not, I don't want to fade, period. So I don't want to overuse the words, period. It's like, I don't want to do this, so I don't want to do this. Right, okay. Um, so Cause it, and effect, it's one thought. Yeah, and for me, I use the like circling two things and connecting them, not just when I have like two opposing ideas or two opposite contrasting things. It's when I want to weigh things in each hand. You circle right? phrases or you circle words? I circle, I circle the, the word that I'm going to hit the most. So mm -hmm. like you might circle what you've underlined, right? Fade and then circle overuse and link them together. And visually what that's going to do for you as an actor is just say, I need to make these two words contrasting vocally so that the audience can hear that they are cause and effect and that, that they're related to each other. I don't want it to fade. Nope, emphasize want again. Okay, let's start over. I don't want it to fade, so I don't want to overuse the words. Then it really is in response to whatever Vicky had just said of like, but you haven't even said I love you yet or whatever it might, whatever that line before might be. I don't ever hear it from you enough. Maybe it's something like that. Then you get mm, the response of, well, I don't want it to fade and I don't want to overuse the words because these are all the things that I've been thinking about. I like that. I'm going to make a sentence from Vicky. Yeah, I mean, really, monologues are the hardest things for actors to do because you don't have a scene partner. Yeah. Because you've got to imagine your scene partner and because you've got to imagine how they're reacting to you in real time when there's nobody there. So you've got to create those moments for yourself, even throughout the piece of what words are you saying in this monologue that would trigger a response, be it a shift in facial expression or she turns away from you. Like what can help you as an actor to keep the momentum moving forward in the piece? And that also then in hand in hand turns to different tactics too. Oh, so that's absolutely what that means. Major meaning like iconic and long lasting and all the things that you know and know in your gut to be true about this relationship. Not just couples who say, I love you. And that is the, the, the depth of it all. It's just those, those words, it's deeper than that. Yeah, yeah. And also We're that like major, major meaning like gonna last forever not gonna last two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe defining for yourself, I just saw you smile. That's why I just want to highlight like <laughs> the, the parts where like, you start to have images or you're starting to think of other things or you're starting to put it in your own words, like that's the kind of notes you need in, in, the, in the margin to remind yourself how you as an, act, how you as an actor, you as a person would, mm -hmm. would 
have said that, if you're not going to use the words major, not minor, what words would you use? Like deeper. It's not shallow. It's not a shallow. Yeah. This is deeper. If that's what that means to you, that's what I put in the margins, right? Like how would you interpret that into your own language? Because these words aren't yours, even though you might feel like, man, this is a great monologue and this sounds like me, you might not use the exact words to have right. this conversation with somebody. What she's saying, the words I love you are minor. What we have, what we want, the future I picture for us is major. Yes. The phrase of I love you, it's like, wait, you never pictured our kids? You never pictured what it'd feel like waking up? To me, that's what I love you mean. So you explain yourself actually, kind of that kind of contrast. And what you just did with your voice when you just put that in your own words is what I want you to do here. You uncovering these things and saying like, you know, I feel like crying is you uncovering really how the playwright got to this place or how the playwright has carved out this life for this character, mm -hmm. which is exactly the kind of tether that you need to have between you and this piece, which these words aren't yours. But now that you're uncovering some of that by doing text work, it's going to it's going to read because you understand what's at stake right when i think she's when i think she says don't you think i think she's also saying like how do you not understand yes and that's exactly what i mean about you putting this in your own words thinking about oh washing your clothes doing your laundry like no that's not something major but the thought behind it is because it goes it goes deeper it's not wow this is crazy i can't even like find all the words that i'm trying that i'm like understanding and starting to feel yeah and it's great that you're thinking of things like examples that you would use like what you just said of like laundry like immediately I thought of like what would that what would that like idea of like what's significant about laundry with the person that I'm married to right yeah. so for me I'm thinking like how like I smile to myself when I fold my husband's clothes yeah and how significant that is it is it's that's major. <laughs> it's major, not minor. Yeah, it's major. Yes. And what you just did with your voice there is exactly what I want you to explore when you do this. Okay. Yeah. This is, all of that is to say that I don't want this to fade. Oh, I'm getting chills. This is really Me like, too. I literally, mind is on my legs. <laughs> me too, me too. I don't want it to fade. So I don't want, what? Gonna start over. Take your time and like use hand gestures now so you can feel it out because okay. it's it's not something that I'm expecting you to like do perfectly right now like it this is still an exploration so I think sometimes when I ask actors to work and they're in a session they're like okay now it has to be perfect because we've marked it up the right way or whatever yeah. and I'm it's not like I want you to play and if you're like that didn't work let me start again that's fine okay as you're playing with what to do with these operatives which is really the fun actory bit of this is to make sure that the parenthetical feels a bit more of a, a bit more of an aside. Mm -hmm. So again, I might put two arrows above it or two arrows below it so that you take it out of what your intonation is for that whole line because it's an aside, right? So you might do something like, and don't you think, don't you think we're gonna, we might, I think we might watch our kids get married, right? I just took it down, but you could also take it up, right? And don't you think, don't you think we're gonna, we might, I think we might watch our kids get married. Yeah, I what naturally can do it, when you first said it, I put it I put down to as well. I think it, this size should be more downward in flex intonation. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's try again. And don't you think? Don't you think that we're gonna? We might. I think we might watch our kids get married. We might make chicken soup for each other in the rain. Don't you think that we're major, not minor? When you smell the coffee brewing in the morning, you'll think of me because I'll be the one making the coffee. And when you close your eyes at night, you'll think of me because I'll be the tiptoes that you don't hear tiptoeing to bed. And I'll, be the ones who, and I'll be the one whose lips bring you kisses and the smell of oranges in January. I don't want it to fade. Yes, Hannah. That's exactly what I mean. Can you feel how that whole thing built? And yeah. it built pretty naturally in your own voice just because you've got the, the markings on the page that say, I need to build this. And this helped. And it didn't make, and it then also didn't make the list feel rushed. It didn't make me just feel like I was going, Brrr. there was a cause and effect to everything I said and a thought process beh behind. I felt the past thought of me or Erica thinking about our, like having already thought about 
making her coffee, having already thought about tiptoeing to bed and giving her kisses and oranges. I felt that way more. Great. And that level of specificity is really what makes this sound like these words are yours. I think it would even be kind of fun to play with. I mean, she says, you might say, you're young. I mean, like, do what you feel like. How, how would Vicky intonate, you're young. Yeah. And you don't even know what a lifetime is, right? Like, how would Vicky say that to you? And that's funny, because then at that same time, it's like, that we're both young, it's kind of like, relax. That's your voice like, again. I'm yeah. thinking about it too. We are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, again, really see the importance of breaking down the text, going through these operatives, like you say. Um, you really helped me see the flow of and the thought process behind this. I can't believe I didn't even notice that there was no punctuation until you said it. There's literally one period in the entire two, because at the very end too, but in the entire thing. Um, and a great open, free place to play. Like I was very excited to get to work and I've been feeling so like comfortable working with you just like in this coaching session. There's no really stress. I don't feel like there's any bar that I have to reach. I really appreciate that there's, that we're finding and playing with this together and working together. This is, this shouldn't feel like a teacher student. This should feel like you've got a coach in your corner who's being like, yo, Hannah, you can do it. That's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> Glad. Yeah. I don't want it to fade. So I don't want to overuse the words because someday maybe we'll want to have kids. I mean, I want to, and I think you do too. We're dating, we're dating past tense, but even though I can still just tell that we, we might be one of those couples. Major, not minor. And don't you think, don't you think we're gonna, I mean, we might, I think we might watch our kids get married. We might make chicken soup for each other in the rain. Don't you think that that's major, not minor? When you smell the coffee brewing in the morning, you'll think of me because I'll be the one making the coffee. And when you close your eyes at night, you'll think of me because I'll be the tiptoes you don't hear tiptoeing to bed. And I'll be the one whose lips will bring you kisses and the smell of oranges in January. I don't want it to fade. I'd give you more than a life if I could. And I know I'm not supposed to say that because how long, <laughs> how long were you dating? Not that long, but even though I just know, and you might say you're young, we're both young and you don't know what's a lifetime, but I'd give you days and nights, the sun, moon, stars on a string. You could fly them like a kite or they'd fly you. That's what's in those three words you say that I was afraid to say. That's what I wanted to say. Take me. You wanna go hang gliding, skydiving, parasailing, wherever. Take me to all those places you wanna go.